Hello my dear students, in this lecture we are going to see SN curve for steel. Now S is for strength and N is for number of revolution. Therefore, SN curve is a graphical representation of stress amplitude, stress amplitude which is nothing but fatigue strength SF, which is nothing but fatigue strength SF versus number of cycles, number of cycles completed before failure which is nothing but n which is nothing but n therefore the curve is between sf versus n stress amplitude or fatigue strength versus number of cycles or number of revolutions completed before failure and this curve is plotted on log log paper log log graph paper right means means we have to plot we have to plot curve between log 10 sf versus log 10 n right now while plotting curve the sf that is log 10 sf is considered on y axis and number of revolution that is log 10 n is considered on x axis now you already know that log to the base 10 of 10 to the power 1 is 1 log to the base 10 of 10 to the power 2 is 2 right similarly log to the base 10 10 to the power x is equal to x right that you already know right now we are going to draw this log log curve or log sf versus log n curve it is also called sn curve the same curve is called sn curve now we are drawing for steel here we are drawing for steel right therefore on x axis or on y axis we are considering strength that is sf on log paper and on x axis we are considering number of revolutions considered uh, completed before first failure right now on therefore on y axis it is log to the base 10 sf and on x axis it is log to the base 10 number of revolutions right now when your revolutions are zero means it is static load for zero revolution it is static load and the static strength is corresponding to ultimate point therefore here the point static strength is corresponding to ultimate point therefore here the point is log 10 SUT ultimate strength strength at ultimate point right now as number of revolutions are increasing let us say 10 revolution 20 revolution sorry uh, sorry 10 revolution 10 to the power 2 means 100 revolution 10 to the power 3 revolution that is 1000 revolution 10 to the power 3 revolution now as number of revolutions are increasing and once the number of revolutions becomes 10 to the power 3 that is 1000, 1000 log 10 n is 3 that means revolutions are 1000 then the life of component is as number of revolutions increases life definitely decreases then there will be decrease in life that is fatigue strength is uh, decreasing and becomes at 10 to the power 3 revolution the fatigue strength becomes 0.9 times SUT. The fatigue strength at this location is this is 0.9 SUT. Therefore, on log paper it is log 10 0.9 SUT at revolution equal to 10 to the power 3. Now, again, as number of revolutions goes on increasing, let us say 10 to the power 4, 10 to the power 5, 10 to the power 6. As number of revolutions goes on increasing up to 10 to the power 6 revolution, again the fatigue life goes on decreasing and there is a drastic change now there is drastic change right the change will be drastic like this like this and at 10 to the power 6 revolution that is 1 million revolution 10 to the power 6 revolution means 1 million revolution the fatigue strength is endurance strength the fatigue strength is called endurance strength we have already seen in previous lecture you can go and watch this lecture right now here therefore the fatigue strength is Endurance strength that is log 10 SC dash SC dash SUT is ultimate strength ultimate strength that is strength at stress value at ultimate point right SC dash is endurance strength endurance strength also called endurance limit also called endurance limit right now and again it, it has seen that after 10 to the power 6 revolution, let us say 10 to the power 7, 10 to the power 8, the graph becomes 
asymptotic the graph becomes asymptotic that is the straight line there will be a straight line there is no decrease in strength after 10 to the power 6 revolution there is no decrease in the strength that means the graph becomes asymptotic right asymptotic it is called after 10 to the power 6 revolution that is n greater, greater than or equal to 10 to the power 6 the graph becomes asymptotic right now now very important points are whenever the component completes revolution less than 10 to the power 3 revolution then it is called low cycle fatigue it is called low cycle fatigue means for a revolution number one point number one point for a revolution less than 1000 revolution that is 10 to the power 3 revolution less than 10 to the power 3 revolution they the fatigue failure is called low cycle fatigue it is called low cycle fatigue low cycle fatigue right now next point after 10 to the power 3 revolution that is after 1000 revolutions the fatigue is called high cycle fatigue after that the fatigue is called high cycle fatigue it is high cycle fatigue high cycle fatigue means second point we can say second point we can say when number of revolutions completed are more than 1000 that is more than 10 to the power 3 then it is considered as high cycle fatigue high cycle fatigue right now now again again whenever whenever the life of component is less than 10 to the power 6 revolution means the component fails before completing 10 to the power 6 revolution the component fails before completing 10 to the power 6 revolution that means the life of component is finite life the life of component is finite life and once if component fails after completing 10 to the power 6 revolutions that is n is equal to 1 million revolution then the life is called infinite life then the life is called infinite life very important right whenever whenever the revolutions completed by a component right number one number three whenever revolutions completed by a component are less than or equal to 10 to the power 6 revolution then it is considered as finite life of component it is a finite life of component and whenever number of revolutions completed before failure are more than 1 million that is 10 to the power 6 then it is considered as infinite life infinite life of component right now for finite life now for finite we are going to design some components as per finite life and we are going to design some components as per infinite life now again sometimes there will be a low cycle fatigue there will be a high cycle fatigue now if you consider examples of low cycle fatigue that is whenever revolutions completed are, are less than 1000 then it is considered as low cycle fatigue and the examples are failure of studs set screws failure of set screws failure of missiles low cycle fatigue low cycle fatigue right match stick low cycle fatigue for high cycle fatigue failure of bearings bearings are under high cycle fatigue then gears springs springs are under high cycle fatigue right ic engine under high cycle fatigue now whenever component fails in low cycle fatigue that is whenever component fails before completing 10 to the power 3 revolutions that is 1000 revolutions then it is considered as low cycle fatigue failure then during such type of failure there will be a plastic plastic yielding at localized area of component there will be a plastic yielding at localized area of component and you can see here the strength is decreased from SUT to the strength is decreased from SUT to 0.9 SUT, 0.9 SUT at 10 to the power 3 revolutions. Right. That means there is very small decrease in strength. There is very small decrease in strength. Therefore, whenever component fails in low cycle fatigue, then while designing component, design for static load only. Don't design for fluctuating load. Design is based on static loading. Static loading. Right and during loading as there is a small decrease in strength therefore consider factor of safety more consider more factor of safety more factor of safety and design as per static loading and for static loading design 
ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन थेरीज ऑफ फेल्यूअर एंड वेन यूअर कंपोनेंट फेल्स आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग थाउजेंड रिवॉल्यूशन देन वी हैव टू डिजाइन फॉर फ्लक्चुएटिंग नोट राइट मीन्स वाइल्ड डिजाइनिंग वेन यूअर कंपोनेंट फेल्स इन हाई साइकल फटिक देन द डिजाइन इज बेस्ड ऑन फ्लक्चुएटिंग लोडिंग fluctuating loads we have to design for fluctuating loads and for this we have to see design of fluctuating loads with the help of soderberg line goodman line and gerber line again while fluctu in fluctuating load design when your component fails before completing 10 to the power 6 revolutions then we have to design for finite life we have to design as per finite life equations and when your component fails after completing 10 to the power 6 revolutions that is 1 million revolution then we have to design as per infinite line infinite life equations infinite life equations now the empirical relations for this loading from practical calculation from experimental calculation we got some empirical relations that you need to remember this is very important for each and every competitive exam you have to remember these relations empirical relations sometimes they will provide these relations in exam but many times they will not provide these relations in exam now the empirical relations are sc dash that is endurance strength is equal to 0.5 suut 0.5 suut for steel for steel if suut is less than 1400 mpa if suut is less than 1400 mpa or equal to 1400 mpa and this ac dash is equal to 700 mpa for steel for steel if suut is more than 1400 mpa that means the maximum value of endurance strength for steel is 700 mpa and it it is 0.5 suut it is 0.5 suut this is the first empirical relation right now second empirical relation is second empirical relation is this ac dash is equal to this ac dash is equal to 0.4 suut for cast iron if material is cast iron this ac dash is equal to 0.4 suut right again this ac dash is equal to 0.3 suut for non ferrous materials for non ferrous materials ferrous materials see in steel as well as in cast iron there is a ferrous there is a iron right but for non ferrous materials this ac dash is equal to 0.3 suut such as pure aluminum right pure aluminum right now again for steel for steel this endurance strength ac dash is corresponding to n equal to 10 to the power 6 revolution that is 1 million revolution but for non ferrous materials this is for steel this is for steel you can see in the diagram at 10 to the power 6 revolution we have taken ac dash ac dash right but for non ferrous materials let us say for non ferrous materials this ac dash ac dash that is endurance strength is corresponding to n is equal to 10 to the power 8 to 5 into 10 to the power 8 revolutions revolutions right this correction we have to consider but my dear students this ac dash is called endurance strength is called endurance strength but this ac dash is not used for the design while designing we are using corrected endurance strength which is nothing but se is called corrected endurance strength and for design we have to use corrected endurance strength thank you dear students in next lecture we will see corrected endurance strength